and uh, the guy. Well, last time I think there were twenty over twenty three. So I don't no. know. Uh, no, a bit more. See, see, more. see I, ca I can answer that for you. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, welcome, Labib. This is uh, Malik Kenya Rugby Union. Uh, Hi, just to answer your question, last time we were forty seven in total. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, that's very good. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'll be happy trying, this. I'll be happy this ten today. <laughs> <laughs> We are still waiting for guys to join in. Just a few more nah, minutes. No, nah. nah, I'm not joking. I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how, long, how long is it? Uh, 45 minutes. Is that good for you? Um, okay, we'll see how it goes. Now, if I don't finish, and I must I'd rather have a separate one on my own with, with everyone to join. If I don't finish, what I want to finish, okay? Okay. Don't worry. They say uh, Europeans have the have the have watch, have the watch, and Africans we have time. So. <laughs> Africa time. No, not my experience with Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jason, all right. Wambo, uh, Wambo, are you in? Hey, all right. Thanks, coach. Yourself. Hey Jason. Hey George. I'm good. I'm good. Hope you're good too. Anyway, we can start. We are twenty. Okay. Okay, yeah. guys. Okay. Listen. Um. Let, 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 let's do the following. Um. Obviously. Um. You. Um. Malik, will you mute everyone? Okay. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm so can we, you, you, you guys can, um, you guys can shoot questions. You're on the on the side. I'm, I'm just gonna no, normally in these sessions, I would, I would ask questions if it was like, if we had like forever, man. But, um, but I'm just, I'm just gonna present. Okay, that's okay with you, All right? If, yes. if, if anyone's yes. desperate to get confused, um, you can just, um. Unmute yourself and ask a question. Then, then we'll then we'll um, then we'll, we'll we'll jump in. Okay, does that make sense? It does. Okay, cool. Um, so let me just share screen you quickly. Um, share screen. Share screen and what is this presentation now? As Labib is looking for the screen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Labib Levy, skills and performance analyst. For Stomas, right? Yeah. So welcome, Mr. Labib. Thank you, guys. Um, I didn't realize I had so many things open here. Okay, here we go. How are you doing, Labib? Who's that? Okay, can you guys see the screen or not? Can you see Sia Kulisi? Yes, we can. Okay, excellent. Um, I'm just going to minimize you guys, and then I'll start. Um, Okay, I'm doing breakdown. Just just for those who don't know me, I'm I'm Labi Believe. I'm currently the um, the, the Stormers coach. Um, I've also been involved with um, Kenya in the consultancy over over a good couple of years, and it was one of um, my most um, enjoyable memories in in the in the game of rugby. Okay, also World Cup, a, a world rugby rugby trainer, and um, I'm also a, a touch specialist. And a lot of my philosophies on 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 attack. Um, on defense, on, on breakdown, I, I tried to link the two sports. I've been to six World Cups, two youth World Cups, and, 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 and one, one tag World Cup. So um, the focus for today, guys, um, will actually be when people talk breakdown, they think um, <clears throat> breakdown is, is, is a part of the, of the, of the, of the game, which, which is the rack area, which is basically the, um, when the person on the floor uh, placing the ball and, and the guys coming to clean. Um, my, my philosophy and a lot of the things I'm going to discuss today is a lot of it is Western province, Stormer stuff, but I've also got a lot of my um, own stuff, especially in, at, at, the, at the beginning stages of, of, of this presentation. Okay, so some of the stuff you'll see, hey, you're talking this, but your team isn't doing that. Okay, so some of it hasn't been implemented yet that side, but it's in a space um, we designed to go down. Okay, 
Um, just from the focus areas, I'm going to focus on, on, on the ball carrier and then on the um, evasion and the initiation of the breakdown, looking um, also of um, what, what angles to run, um, looking at when, when you're being held up, um, what to do, but it's all part of the actual process, leg drive, which, which I think Kenya does, does very well because of your, your seventh influence. King space, um, scoring the try, army, army, and shock, there's just terminology which we'll, um, which we'll share with you. We'll, we will go over some cleaning principles, um, winning the race. Um, some of you would have heard of the X, um, the, the, the height we're talking about is very big. Um, height in, in South African rugby is, is very huge, whether it's um, height, in, um, height in the clean, height in the, in the tackle. Um, we, 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 we call it um, level change. So, so everyone's talking in South Africa on the level, on the level, but that's due to the Springbok influence. Okay. We, I'll, I'll touch on depth of the clean, um, some reloading, and then zonal. When, when, do you want to, when do you want to do what? Okay. Um, I've got quite a, quite a few slides. If, if we don't finish it, um, I mean, uh, Malik, you will have notification and um, either I'll initiate a Zoom call on another day for, for this crew that was here to finish it or we can re redo it at some point. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty flexible because I'm not okay. going anywhere. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so, so just in terms of um, of the of 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 the of of the game itself, man, right? Um, if you, if you, if I think breakdown, and especially when I did um, def defense with oops with 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 with, with Kenya, um, the, the whole world has become fascinated or not fascinated, but improved their whole defensive philosophy. They're getting defensive coaches, they're getting defensive consultants. Players are, are, are much smarter than they were. 20 years ago on, on the defensive side, the, 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 the system, this pattern, this double tackle, this leg tackle, this folding, all, all, all that stuff, okay? So due to that factor, as well as um, technology makes, makes analysis better, it's, it's, it's put the big um, damper on, on attack. Um, we, whereas even like um, when teams are doing shapes, etc., it's all becoming very monotonous. So you play off nine, you play off 10, and this, that, and the other. And um, big thing is obviously the, the kicking game. So, so, so teams are playing, especially international, um, super rugby, they, 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 they're playing to kick the ball, right? And if, and if we think when we, um, when we all grew up, when you started playing the game of, of, of rugby in your garden or whenever you, wherever you played, you didn't really train defense, did you? You were throwing the ball around, you were hopping around and passing, etc. And 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 that's our game, and and that's becoming more and more um, missing out out of a game, okay? Because defence are, are, are becoming smarter. I listened to a podcast uh, yesterday of 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 Wayne Smith, who is obviously a, 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 a very good coach at the other experience with the All Blacks, and I was I was quite surprised him being a being a tech tech coach who's dabbled in forward and um, defense, etc. he made a statement that at their 2011 World Cup, the last 10, 15 minutes, all right, when um, France had the ball, they were happy for France to have the ball. Now, this is the All Blacks we're talking about, the best rugby team from attack for multi-generations, but even they didn't want the ball. So, so, so what's the mindset? Um, attack is not keen to attack anymore, and that, that's a shame. But that's the reality of a game. So, what do we do to to break down defense? Okay, what do we do to break down defense? We need to get better in attack. Um, if I go to where, where world rugby is going with a game, or where a lot of top coaches, um, Eddie Jones especially, is asking, listen, let's have less subs on the field because. Then, because teams are making it a total power game, they're just replacing the guys, and then injury replacement and blood replacement, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, meaning teams are more fresher on defence as well, which is stifling attack. If people are tired, defence will be won't be good. Meaning, there'll be more gaps to attack. Hope it's making making sense, guys. So, my my philosophy is: where's the game going to? Right, meaning that. We need attack to be better, but within attack, we need the individual to be better. So the individual has to be able to 
manipulate um, one on one better, look look with space better, look look up better, and it has to be done at um, in second in 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 minute second, and there's a lot of things that can be done in in with it, with that is also. As I mentioned, I've 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 been to um, six touch World Cups. I've coached a lot juniors. I coach nine year olds. I coach professional rugby players. So I see a lot a lot of space manipulation, handling, um, defenses, etc. So I'm going to show you a clip, um, which is basically um, Australia versus New Zealand. Now, if people think touch rugby, they think one person avoiding the other. Okay, um, and then trying to score, but I'll 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 try and give you some um, some sense within within this clip. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, in 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 six touch you've got um, you've got six touches. It's called six touch. It's played. If you go to Australia, they've got nine hundred thousand players. New Zealand's got about three hundred thousand players. Um, playing playing it formally. Okay, so, so it's big in the development. Australia's, um, they took their touch team, eight of the touch players took them to the Olympics, never played rugby, put them on a two year program and went to win the Olympics, the, 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 the girls I'm talking about. Okay, so because it, it has a skill. So now this is Australia having the sixth touch. New Zealand, New Zealand will take possession now. So we're going to watch New Zealand. They're in their own zone, okay, the 70 meter zone. So we're going to look at the small things. So now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's not a tackle, but naturally you will try and look at those tail and shoulder here and you will change direction very quickly and put the ball down. Just watch it. Oops, sorry. Okay, I'll just go forward there. This might happen a few times, guys. Okay, there he puts it down. While they're falling back. Just before he makes contact, he's moving on an angle. Can you see? But they move the wrong angle into another defender. So you can see, boom, we move the move the straight angle. And more importantly, if you look what they're gonna do now, which 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 they do on almost every touch, he actually is not so so if you think rugby, the person on the left is a defender making a tackle or a touch in this case, but the person on the right is making he's determining where the ball wants to go. So in the team context, Everyone knows more or less where the ball is, actually know where the ball is going, and he's manipulating the defender to put the ball down in the rack where he wants to, to, to go. And while that's happening, players off the ball are working, which creates opportunity. Boom, there's a small step, and while they're moving back, and bang, then they score. Okay, I hope that makes sense, guys. So based on that, okay, based on that, um, we want to carry the ball in, um, in, in two hands. It's a technical... Um, um, ball carrier I'm going to focus on now because once you're playing off your nine or off your tens or even just in general play, um, we don't want our players to run straight. Um, South Africa, we won the World Cup, but it's still a big problem here. Players just running straight because they, they're normally bigger than our position, etc., etc. But But as conditioning in, in rugby is growing, it's just getting, um, defense are getting better and, and, and they can't bully players necessarily any, anymore. Okay, so we want players to move within space. Even a big player running onto a small player, if you can move into space, it, it will it will get better. So these are these are basics. It's key factors. Um, but um, I, I just want to reiterate that some of the stuff um, might not even be in the manuals. But anyway, so when receiving the ball, obviously you want you want a good split star um, facing the ball, receiving the ball. Um, you want to have the option to pause the ball always. That's why I say keep the ball within two hands, even when you tuck it, and you must have a the pause or release the ball option. So it, as a ball carrier, you must put yourself in a position and your players around you must put them in a position for you to pause it both sides, okay? Um, now when, 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 when contact is, when you're in that zone where you know, listen, that, that pause isn't really on the seat. Before we even come to the offload, I want to take my elbows a little bit closer to my body, okay? And I want to keep the ball round about the, just above the hip, by, um, and, 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 and that's by, by, by the stomach side, okay? Then I'm obviously I'm preparing footwork in order to, to <coughs> go on the, <laughs> um, footwork to, to go on the, on the weak shoulders and, um, that that's foot took before contact, and then now I know that contact is coming, and I and I, and I and I and I and I attack the um the defender explosively. Okay, um, as I do that, we want to um I call it we don't call it in Cape Town that, but we want to turtle up. 
Okay, so you almost want to form like a turtle formation and happens in split second. So you're taking a, a technically technical ball carry in a turtle formation in 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 into the carry. Okay. Oh, that's happening there. Um now I've I've got three steps here. Okay. So the first step you're running to the defender, you keep him square. Then you decide weak shoulder like the touch guy did there, or weak shoulder. So we say either weak shoulder or we attack his arms, which, which you, you all will know we attack the branches or the edges, as they call it, and we move it on a 45 degree angle. So a lot of South Africans do, and it works, um, especially the, 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 the teams from the traditional white, white, white schools coming to the system. They run those angles, okay, which, which, which they do very well. Um, but but what I'm promoting is to run those angles, but some um, rugby is, is fluid, so you can't always get that angle. Sometimes you're going to have someone in front of you, or a lot of times you're going to have someone in front of you, and you need to work your footwork to get on that 45-degree angle. Okay. You hit that 45-degree angle, so you're on his branch, and then immediately you're going to almost change to a forward movement again. So it's nose to the try line. So it, it's, it's just little things you can tell your player. Once you beat him, a cue for you, like, like, like if you maul, um, you must have vision or, or feeling that, 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 your, that your hips are to the try line or your nose is to the try line. So the same when, 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 when running with the ball. Okay, now, the next point, okay. If I'm about eight meters, and I'm, up, and I'm about to being tackled, and I'm eight meters, and there's a one-on-one -on -one guy in front of me, all right? And I just move his shoulder. Do I go to the ground immediately, or do I focus on that try line? I'm five meters away. Do I go to the ground? 99% of, of humans, rugby players, will put so much energy, so much effort, so much explosivity, so much power to get to that, to that, to that try line to, to try and score. So what I'm saying, once you're in that zone, just pause up the branches zone and, you, and you're doing your leg drive, um, well, about to do your leg drive, you take your, your, your eyes must, must almost like create a, a, a mental try line and it must generate so much energy for you to get so far um, beyond the, the contact point. Okay, so B square, hit them on a 45 degree, B square footwork, before contact, um, go on a 45 degree, um, get back square, nose is your guide, take your binoculars and focus on a point and fight to get to that point. Okay, cool guys. Um, There's just an example of, um, that I want to just, just show um, in terms of just body, body positioning for players. So um, I did this, I was in Kenya uh, last year on my way to, to Tanzania, and then um, I'll just talk through it. So if, if your body position isn't right, so I'm pushing this person here, okay? I'm just pushing him because he's, he's not actually square. So I'm just using the same force, and I actually push him away almost a meter with, with no effort, okay? Then I push him again, All right? So I'm going to take the ball now, and just to explain to him. Um, with, I want to be in that position, oops, sorry. Um, we don't want to be in that position, okay? Unt until we be beyond. And guys, sometimes you will be in that position. Then, 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 then you must deal with it. Ideally, you want to be on the side. I'm not going the footwork principle here by explaining to you. I'm just giving him the, the, the force generation and the power, okay? There. So that's a position probably a bit lower, but because I'm facing forward, I can generate more power. I got space for my leg drive. He's only hitting me with with with, with, with his branch, which is one um, his one shoulder. Okay, so I give him the ball again, and I just tell him, you see, there I can't push him. I can't even budge him, and I just moved him. Okay, so so I just explained to him the difference, and he's gonna go again. Um, bang! I can't move him. I tell him try the try the wrong way, and then I just push him easily, and then um, he goes again then I can't move him. So that is something we can, we, we, we can train, but before we even train it, we need to get our players to understand that. Okay, it's a small thing, but even at <laughs> super rugby level, I'm finding, I'm thinking, gee, well, this guy, you, you just came back from Japan and what's going on here? So any player has, has, has his um, improvement areas, no matter, no matter what, okay? 
at that point, you want you must, while he's looking forward, and it all happens very quick, and it takes time to to coach it. You must actually think, tell him to, as part of the leg drive process, generate your toe into the ground, okay, in order to generate more, okay, to generate more power. Now the chance is yeah, at this point, um, obviously you 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 generating your you 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 turtled up. You've got you've got the baller on your tummy. You 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 you've um, you've moved your elbows in. So now they'll either try and tackle you old, you up two guys or one guy, okay? So then you go into a, but in, into a, like a, you know, like a, like a punch, uppercut, uppercut, while, while, while it's tight. So you, so you're generating upper body power now. You generate, you just generated um, lower body powder with, power with your leg drive. So now you generate upper body power in order to dom dominate the contact okay so um if i watch this one here and this is this is the amount of power you you want but you're not punching really but you're in a punch movement okay so let's just show the man here Okay, so so that's the type of power you want, but obviously you're not you're not really punching, but you're just moving your 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 upper body like that to to generate force. Okay. Um, oops, sorry. Now, now we're going to the to the space. Now you'll see a lot of these pictures, and, and we tend a lot. If you look at CIA, he's um being held with a with a, with a band. We sometimes have him pull jerseys, or we can run into a bag. So we so we we call this basically um scoring the try right so so we train it a lot so um in order um rem this, remember the step before cia year was although we don't they, we're not focusing on it in cape town but the, my, my step before this is listen see so i want you to look that three meters ahead man and you do whatever you do to get to the three meters or beyond so that's your trial line no matter where you are on the field okay no matter where you're on the field and you generate power out of the lower body out of your way you hold the ball and your upper body, um, and then you dive forward. You see he's diving here. This is a breakdown drill, he's diving to score the try, but you're not diving to score the try with your, with your hands forward. It's in the position he's got it now. Okay. And you look 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 to be square. And then something which 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 I brought to um to to, to Stormers, you'll see not everyone's totally doing it this year, but if you if you watch a game that that's coming to our game, which is army army, it's not 100% legal, guys. Okay, it's not 100% legal. Um, that's why I say when you do army, army, um, something I picked up in in Auckland, only do two or one. But the moment you're going to crawl, 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 you're going to give away, um, you're going to give away um, penalties, and only do it on your upper body. Don't do army, army, and use your legs, and then 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 the ref they're going to blow you. So so it's a skill. It actually become the skill because remember the rest diary is full, eh? He must. He's look. He's watching you. He's watching the cleaner. He's watching the defensive guys. So th there's opportunity there to get that uh, meter. Okay. Cool. Um, so just an example. And yeah, I've got. Um, there we go. And you've got. You see, we watch it again. So you see Bowden Parrot and, and it, it's actually a New Zealand thing. They've they've been having these mini sheets for years. Um, what he could probably have done better in the context that I've explained now, he, he probably could have scored the try better. He probably could have um, dived more forward, but because um, because only attaining drill, it's it's probably only focusing on that, okay, on 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 the army army, and so it becomes norm. So you 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 let your players do it on training as well in your conditioning games, in your in your in your in your touch games you play, or your your rack touches, etc. You let them do it, okay. So now there does army army. So next step, okay. So the next point now. So you so so you dive forward, he army army it. Um, now he needs to place the ball. So we don't want him to do a massive recoil where he goes into big negative um, 
negative meters. So wherever the ball's placed, so if you place it, say, oh, a meter from where it is now, that's basically the furthest point you want it back. And then he must, he can probably dig his feet into the ground to get the north-south um, positioning from where he is. If you find your, if you find himself um, laying east or west, it happens because there might be a tackle on your feet and, and, and defenders coming. Then the, the, the thing we want is he must, he must become like a electrician that's just been shocked, okay? And he must move, your whole body must move with, 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 with such, um, with such power and 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 um, an evasion, you must it must look like you like you like 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 a shock so that the 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 the, the um, or the or the ball stealers can't get onto the ball. Okay, so you want to get in like a um, like a like a pin pin shape. Um, if there's time to roll into the 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 the, the stealer, you can go into it and then and then then move. Why we always tell players core is so important in the game because now you now because you're not you're not on standing etc you're on the ground so now your core has to come in because you have to use your feet and and your arms and your shoulders and you have to be very strong in your in your arms and and the um and the and the core um, so the, the whole shock theory is in order to get you um to get you to be dynamic okay. Um, just, just moving on to the, on to the, um, on to the, on to the technical support quickly. Um, so the support must be more or less there where the ball is on a 45 degree angle to, to support. Um, you want him to maintain his width as long as possible. It must be a pass option, or offload option. Okay. Um, then it gets in decision making process. So he needs to um, identify who the primary threat to his ball is. While while he's doing that, he's um, the, 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 the ball carrier is doing all, all that other stuff we spoke now. Okay, so he's doing all that stuff and me as a support clean out um, person is looking for threats. And then um, second threat is, is, is also one of the arriving players. Okay. Now I start moving my head as, as a support player um, towards the head of the ball carrier. So now I coach my players, everyone you move towards the head. Okay. And then you also want to lower lower your body. All 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 things that that happens naturally, but it's just good um, coaching tips um, to get to get to the to the players. And you want to go smaller steps in order to prepare for lowering our center of gravity. Okay. Um, decision making. Now, if 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 no threat, um, bridging a scrum formation, or and this, this, this is a big thing of, of that whole ball carry story that, that I explained to you, which, which I'm, I'm, that's, my, that's my biggest thing in rugby in, where breakdown is concerned. If I can do all that, I don't need a cleaner. If I don't need a cleaner and we can play the ball, there's no time for, 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 for defense to sit. Or I, or I send one cleaner in the ruck, then they have to get behind the, 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 um, the defensive line and it makes it easy for your attack. Okay. Obviously, the threat is high, you eat, whole, you eat and hold space. What a lot of the cleaners do, they, they hold space on the ball. We're saying go a meter or even a meter and a half in front. Or X, which is something I'll, ex I'll explain later, um, which is also, it's, it's legal, illegal. Okay. Um, um, in in um, Provence and Stormers, um, cause a big war about it. In t and, and so it's actually sort, sort of banned. Um, but there is still room for it, which I'll explain to you later. Okay. Um, yeah, we just want, um, same like in the, in, in the scrum, I don't know if it's here, but we want quick feet. Okay, you want, you want, you want to um, chase, chase your feet, like sometimes in the scrum when you're going forward, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to chase um, your feet. You want to do the same because a lot of guys, they, they come to the ruck, they, 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 they cleaning the thread, but they're only cleaning it with the, with the dynamic of the force that they ran there. Okay, and they're not, they're not using the whole body. So you use the upper body and your lower body. Okay. And then you want to take space and dominate space, which is, which, which is vital. Okay. So the, the key focus, obviously all the skill stuff, which I haven't really covered today, the contact technique and the, um, and the decision making. Okay. Let me see what this, I think this is, yeah, this is just, um, it's just basically doing what, 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 what I said now. So contact technique is vital. And then obviously, um, decision-making process. 
you know, just some 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 stats, guys. Um, I won't spend too much time on this, but what 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 we look at, um, and this is was over a season, right? So, um, our team, how did we perform against Bulls, Cheetahs, Kings, blah blah blah? Um, what are the average cleaners to, to a ruck for the for against Bulls? And then we we can do comparative analysis. How quick was our ball? Was it two seconds? So we always want two second ball, less than three, basically. Um, how many turnovers we lose? Did we occupy that king space there? We, we, we see is diving. Did the player do that? Did we do the X when it was still sort of legal? Failure to move. Um, how many times was was, was the nine? Um, not not the first trial, but someone else was the nine. How many breakdown wides did we lose? Um, I forgot the cleaner because like in, you guys in the sevens, you, you clean and you come out to be your option. And um, the presentation and what was the offload rate? Um, after after going down to the ground okay um just here i'm just going some stats in the next few slides um it's just like average speed this is in, this is in the recent guys but it's just just an example of how to to do some of the analysis um so in new zealand the, the essence has always been the speed of the ruck and that's a big thing of of, of the success rate if you look if you look the chief saracens um, even Lions in South Africa, the speed of the ruck is good, and that's why they, they used to play Super Rugby Finals, etc., because they focus a lot on speed of their rucks, okay? If you look at South Africa, um, England, they, they, they've got a massive, um, your, 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 your Saracens of the world, your Clemence, they've got a massive kicking game. So, so they have a lot of slow rucks, okay? So they're not, they don't play too much rugby, they kick, chase, blah, 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 okay? Then numbers committed to the ruck, that's another one. Loosens, meaning how many... Um, how many times the scrum off not playing the ball? Okay, again, you'll see New Zealand, um, Hurricanes, Chiefs, Lions, um, they, they, they say saying nearest people play the ball because they want to they they play the game. That's why when they play it and they're successful, it's a beautiful game. Okay, but you'll also see they lose, they have more turnovers lost. Okay, per game, all of them, Hurricanes, Chiefs, Lions, and um, because it's a high risk um, and um, I reward, was, 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 and this is some of the risks that, that, that they face, okay? It's a numbers game, okay? But I just, we just pulled the stats of, um, remember when New, when New Zealand lost to um, Ireland for the first time ever? Um, crunch of numbers, and um, in Chicago, if you look at the um, numbers of attackers New Zealand committed to the, to the ruck, and number of uh, um, attackers um, they committed in, in, in Dublin. You see, it's almost one one extra person per ruck, okay? And then number of Irish defenders in, in the New Zealand attack in Chicago, 1.3 and, and 1.6 in Dublin. Okay, so that 0.3 differential rate um, made that New Zealand could win the second test in Dublin, okay? And you look at Irish, Irish is exactly in, 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 in reverse. Okay, so they, they were better in um, statistically in, in um, Chicago than than in Dublin. So if you get these little things right, it works quite well, okay? Decision making. Um, coming to the to the breakdown, um, you have you have a five meter zone where you're checking, you're scanning, it's happening quick, eh? Then you have that two, that, that two meter zone where you do your, get ready to um, go small feet and, and, and change your level and then you want to work through the ball. So a lot of people do their work over the ruck, they work over the bodies, but we say, um, work over the ball they hit which is normally where the ball is but it's better actually to work over the ball okay um there's just um some debates we have there um whereby we may measure um some some um effectiveness of the of the arrivals at the at the rucks i'm just not going to go too much in there that's another chat one's own okay this is this is current this is this is up to date um per game averages for 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 for, for super uh, super rugby so um percentage um per percentage averages of of quick ball um is losers blues they did well um sixty percent um attacking racks um in it in um in defensive racks okay so it's so it's quick ball and and basically um def defensive um quick ball and slow balls as well okay the reality, guys, within rucks, you're going to win some and you're going to lose some. That's the total reality. Um, you can strive for the, obviously, you're looking for excellence. 
Okay, and all those points, if they can get it, if you're striving for the perfect game, but you must be prepared to, to lose some rucks, but you must have intent and get it in your players that you don't want to lose any rucks. They must have that mindset, we don't want to lose any rucks. You can't always say, ah, it's fine to lose some. They must, they must feel bad when they, when, 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 when they lose rucks, okay? Um, I'm just going just gonna to stop sharing. Is there any, um, is there any questions, guys? Any questions on what I said that um, want clarity on that quickly? All good. Yes, I have a question. Uh, Teddy, this is, I have, I have a question on the army army. Which yeah. position do you prefer to use when uh, on ball presentation? Uh, is it the U formation or, or I formation to reduce the space of, of the hunter? Yeah. Um, Look, it's it's either or, no? it's either or. I, ideally, obviously, you want you want the, you want you want it, um, the, the the pin formation because it it, it eliminates the hunter. He's only got like a, a quarter meter to work through. If you if your position is to west, he'll, he'll have a bigger space to work to 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 work through. So so ideally, um, you want you want him long, straight, but we know that's that's. A lot of time not possible because it might be tackled or, 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 or double tackled. Make sense? So um, um, first prize is long, but we know it's 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 not going to happen all the time. So you're going to encourage your players to 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 fall long, but if they can't, it, it's not going to happen. Okay, thank you. Okay, other questions? Okay, I'll go back. Um, I'll just do, do, do some clips here quickly. Um, you guys can see, eh? Yes, okay. Um, so this, oops, sorry, sorry guys. I sometimes struggle with this stuff. So here we, we have we have basically a wide rack and you'll see here um, province, um, we, we, we overcome it numbers here, can you see? So that's a way and sharks get time to sit. So we call it loosen when, when, when someone other than the scrum off plays it. You see, you've got one, two, three, four people in that breakdown. Okay. Um, just want to watch it again. Oops. Okay, sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, so we just watch it again. Okay. There's too much people here in that breakdown. Cool. Um, next one is the older club. Shucks, man. Sorry, guys, man. Uh, this thing doesn't. So, so I want you to watch Jan. He, he, he comes to the rack. He goes to clean. So it, it does something totally different to the previous one. Okay. It plays twice. The club plays twice. You see, he could have stayed at the rack, but he chose to come out and create another, another opportunity. See, he moves out. Okay, so 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 that's that's basically it with with regard to um that the, those clubs just showed opportunity. There's one or two clubs that, that that comes up later which has something similar. So now one once you break up your field, you're playing from um from top down. Dark orange is 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 your defensive zone, um and then you've got the two oranges on on the side and your viper zone, which is basically um fifteen twenty meters from from their their try line. Um, so, so a lot of the stuff from the from the attacking stuff, which I'm still going to show you, it, it's it's the attacking breakdown, which which we do mostly now in our green. We do it in our green. Um, now and then you cover it in those orange zones, but these are more or less your the, the zones I'm showing you here, as your um as as your, as your safe zones. Okay, so those are your safe zones where you where you keep everyone. Um, we're not going to rush it, so we're going to play more like the like the English or the Springboks. Okay. Um, just a very quick explanation. Um, if we if we're playing attacking rugby, the breakdown rules I explained, which you want quick ball. But in 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 our 22, there's just some f formulas we have there that we we go safe, which are covered in that in that drawing now. In the wide breakdown, the same, and in the the, the, the viper role, because you want balance control versus speed. Okay, it's it's that that's 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 our philosophy and in in. in, in 
um, in Cape Town, but I, I, I'm, I'm off for speed versus total um, slow ball con control because, yeah, but that, that, that's, that's always a debate. Breakdown is always a debate. Okay. And then, um, but you're still doing this stuff um, possible. Okay. And we have, we have clampers because um, usually in your own zone, you're, you're looking to kick next. Okay. Um, let's see here. That's just a, that's basically a drawing, a drawing of it. Can you see how, 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 how Australia, it's, it's, it's control. It's very difficult for them to, to, to counter, um, to counter rack there. Um, this is just an example um, of, of also being narrow. If, if, okay, it's not, it's not really narrow there, but you, you want to be narrow. Um, you want those, those first two people like there, they're your core, they can't break it. Um, and then, we want to be almost like in a in a in 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 a, in, a, in a scrum sort of formation, so that so that they can't um, they can't really penetrate and 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 and, and counter -act, Okay, um, I'll just have you there. One goes in. Um, they follow the feed, but you look there. So Natla goes into that position, and and they're pretty. Okay, I'm gonna watch it again. Just one thing, I want you to watch here. I want you I want you to watch Skara as well. And um, Skara, and I want you to watch um, Lucanio M. Okay, what Skara does to him. Sorry, let me just, okay. So we're doing that clamp and that's that safety I just spoke about. But Skara, Skara puts him on the ground and look at his body language. He wants to moan, he's, he's angry, he wants to almost hit that truck, okay. So that we call the, basically the X, which I'll show you later, where Skara's actually tackling the, 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 um, the, um, the, the, the stealer or tackling someone who's around the um, the breakdown, but Sanatla went into a good safe mode. Okay. Um, another time when you do it is post contestable kicking. Okay, where you also um, and contestables are usually in the corners, and 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 that's where you can apply that um, that, that, that 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 philosophy. Okay. Um, let me just I'm just trying to share this clip here. Can you guys see the clip here? Compress play. Things in the way. Okay, there we go. So that's the zone. But actually, your your clamp zone. You'll see again. Skara is there, and it's, it's you see it's dealing with the with with the with the with the, with the, with the counter guys. Okay. The 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 the, the carrier's behavior is also critical. He needs to buy time. Okay. He needs to buy time. Um, okay, the same one. Um, so 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 just um. Just to recap all the stuff we did, um, the uppercuts, the arms, I'm not going to discuss that too much, but we, 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 we call it, you must, you must have that ball and you must manipulate the ball almost like you're smuggling ganja, okay? Um, the opposition is a, um, the, 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 the opposition is a, is a, is a police and you the, um, you the smuggler. We don't want to get caught um, smuggling ganja, okay? Um, there is a, just an example of a, of a front foot carry, okay? Good body position. Um, leg drive, um, uh, looking for the dive coming soon, and um, obviously um, diving to the king space in a try scoring formation like we saw Sia did earlier. Okay. Um, yeah, just one, one, one thing obviously that, that, that I didn't cover, which is part of the sh shock, is an um, is a offload of the ground option. Okay, that's also the other thing that I didn't cover, I realize now. Okay, so you pop, you either pop off the ground or you hold the ball of the of the ground. Okay, um, there you see, to do it all the time. A um, lot of our training, you spend a lot of time on it, on, on, on the scoring the time. I can tell you the honest threat in Kenya though. My, my honest is, um, which, which I found coaching different teams is, and it's it's difficult, especially with your junior teams and your school teams, and even some of your 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 your, your um, club provincial teams, is the condition of your fields. The condition of your fields, um, which I've found in the if, anyway, that's another story. Um, you, you, you'll probably you'll probably have. Um, I'm saying it with respect. I mean, we also got bad fields, but I'm saying with respect to promote these things, and and that, that that's a challenge. That, <laughs> um, uh, no, no, um, yeah, that's a that's, that's reality, guys. <laughs> Who's laughing there? 
Okay. Okay. So um, King Space. So so the reason we go King Space, guys, and normally I would ask you the question, and if I was there by you, I'll explain to you, etc., the drawings, etc. Um, the reason we do King Space is to get beyond the advantage line. So everyone is having folding and two fold and three fold and one fold. So you're getting behind that folding line. And that's another reason why we act so that they must fold, keep folding and folding around you. So defense don't get time to um, to sit. Okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a long and short end of the reason um, we, 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 we do the scoring the try and the king space. Um, it obviously it makes um, the, the gate further back that they have to go before they can get involved here. Okay. I'll I'll there's stuff other notes here which I'll um I'll cover later as well, so it's fine. The chairs and also when he still played here. Um all the time. All the time is happening. Okay, um that's just that's just here. Um there's actually just 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 a drawing um of of, of we getting into um the king space. That clip isn't working, so I'll just move pause it. King space. Everything is king space. Cleaner king space, ball carry king space. Okay. Just watch this clip here. Small army, army. Evasion. Offload 45 degrees. Read the dingo clean. Occupy the space behind the ball. Okay. Um, oops, what is it now? Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm looking for that. I lost that old black clip now. Anyway, but I think you got the idea there that uh, it was um, that was perfect. Do you agree? Okay, let's just watch. I'm going to bothering me now. Some reasons gone. Um, check it. Yeah, just to cover it. Army, quick army. Leg drive, branches again. Offload, 45 degrees. Places it. He doesn't even clean. He just, he just, he just gets the ball away. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, open side place. Okay. Um, I'm sure you, you know, you'd have covered at some point if you didn't. Basically, um, you're fighting for open side place because you, you, you're playing the ball in the direction you want. You want you want the the game to, to to go to, and you also put the folders and the and the defender in a in a in a horrible position because um, a lot of lot of teams in the defensive structures they, they don't want stealers to come from the from the open side because if he comes in and he misses he misses the steal and attack plays quick balls because defense is waiting for the fold and then you have overlaps okay so that's why you want to. Um, and a place open side as well. Um, I won't go to all the other detail there. Um, I'll rather play the clip. We can, we can, we can learn it more. Okay. So just watch here. So open side. Open side is. If you can see, let me go again. Shucks, man. He falls with his right to his right shoulder. Yeah, it's probably he could have survived with the left shoulder. But the next one must be a right shoulder fall. So he must fall on the right shoulder. They tackle him left shoulder, but he, he fights hard, you see. I can just watch again. Look what Ireland's doing here. They did what's currently did there. Although they have too many too many cleaners. Okay. Now this is part of the risk if you if you just go pause. Pause the ball, and he had laid his his wrist. Is that 
um, they could steal the ball. But obviously, the, this this guy is offside, so it works well for Ireland. But the, the key purpose here is obviously um, to see how we how we fell. Okay, um, Australia, England. So he, if he falls on his left, like I said, it, it's fine. But it's, but look, look, the defender nearly had a chance. Right shoulder fall. And then they don't even, they can't even steal the ball. Right shoulder fall, dominate. You see, he went left shoulder fall. But he probably could have fought more, and this is a nice one. That's a nice one, and boom. They dominate. Okay. Placement, like I, like I covered, um, offload, in, obviously you want to offload in the air, um, if, 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 if possible. Um, and this, 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 it works for your contact, all the stuff we spoke, then you're on the, we're on the ground now. Um, you're army, army, you, you're busy looking to, to play the ball, but obviously you're looking to offload from the, from the ground, from the ground as well. Okay. Um, so let me just rather play some clips. That's the old club, boom. There you go, that extra space. You see, I hold the ball upper. Huh? It's not necessarily, um, not necessarily, Popping it, he holds it up instead of placing it to the ground. Don't allow the defense to sit. And that statement there is 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 all in the mindset, guys. Okay, um, hold the ball, don't throw 50-50s. Um, what you doing? Don't do high risk. It's, it's a mindset and decision making which, which you must decide to watch to which limit you want to coach that to your players. Okay, um, if you can get them to a level where they have the skill, go for it. Um, you'll get more spectators coming to watch, you'll make the game. The way it's meant to be, with, 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 which is a tech. Okay, are they offloading also? And 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 although the, and they do it very mechanically, um, but yeah, the coach thing, because this isn't their natural game, but they think that they worked on the game. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go into all this detail of, of, of every foot here, but basically what, what we're looking for here is those short, short steps and um, that 45 degree angle also 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 helps to, 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 get, to get to that breakdown. Okay, once you get there 45 or if, you, if you're behind the, the ball, we want you to, to dip the hips, tie them not to bend over, dip the hips, um, I'll discuss X and tackle mindset later, and let them let them chase um, chase their feet. That that's the important thing when it comes to the cleaners as well. Okay. Um, so they what he does there. He wasn't clinical. He just went with his shoulders, which 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 happens a lot with bigger players. Okay, and by not being um, by not being accurate, so you want to get them first thing obviously is to sprint to the rack from the one rack to the next, but you also want them to um, to have good body position, body height, but good technique. So he got there, he was low, he got there maybe a split second too late, so he just leaned on his shoulder. Okay, which which is a uh, um, it's illegal and not good technique. Okay. So the so we say obviously um, golden rule no tits on backs. You don't want your breast or your tits on 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 their on their backs. Okay, your nipples must be first to go to the ground before before any any clean. Okay, and the same in 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 defensive rock which you're not doing, but that's it. Okay, sumo wrestlers have that ability, tits and backs, but even that, that, that that's sometimes difficult. Okay. Um, I'm not going to play this clip. Um, this is from um, what is what movie is this? The, G the Chicago Way. Okay, the Chicago Way is um, a, 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 a philosophy out of the Untouchables. Okay, 
So we say, he pulls a gun, he pulls a knife. It's actually, he brings a stone, but in the movie, says, he brings a stone, you bring a knife. It's in Cape Town now. He brings a knife, you bring a gun. Okay. He puts one of you in the hospital, you put one of them in the morgue. Okay. So, so, so that's a, that's a philosophy mentality we got. Okay. Um, you, 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 you give no quarter, ask no quarter when it comes to breakdown. Okay. So it's just, we, we, we actually see that in the movie. I won't play it. Um, yeah. So some more clips, guys. Springboks, barbarians. Nice footwork. You see, it's not not that on backs, and it didn't. Um, so it's difficult for him. Shucks. Sorry. And that's the end result. Okay, I'm not going to open that one. Um, let's see if we can get that 45 to keep going here. Shucks. Uh, it's not good enough. Give, give away the, 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 the penalty. Um, toss it again. And you'll see uh, Alistair also. He doesn't fall smart. If, if, if he doesn't fall to, to, the, to the open side, which, which puts pressure on, on, on the cleaners. Let's watch it again. Because he falls wrong. He falls under. He falls right shoulder. He should have fall, fall left shoulder, which made it easier for the cleaners. Just looking here, outside cleaner must clean deep and X. Um, we, <laughs> there's, another, there's another big debate, outside cleaner versus inside cleaner, which, which if you, you see, if, you, if your outside cleaner cleans, it takes a number of your, of your tech, then your, your inside cleaner must come around on, 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 on a phone. Okay. Um, but we want him to, whoever cleans, we want him to, to, to clean deep into that rack or try to put the defender onto the rack so that the, the next defender must fold, um, must fold further back. Okay, but I prefer inside cleaner still um, to outside cleaner. It just, it just, it just helps with, with, with the tackle phone. Okay, um, just see this one. I don't even know what clip I'm at. Sorry guys, this, this the screen sharing thing is in the way of my, my play button. There we go. Isolated, so it didn't work. It didn't work hard enough. So let's watch here. They didn't work hard enough, although they're saying I tulips. Okay, um, sorry guys, the screen changing the way. Okay, that one. The big thing, Rassi, okay, big thing. The It's probably off leaning, off cleaning. Um, and, 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 and the ball carrier probably could have done, done better in, in, his, in his placement, okay? But if there's a player on the ball, okay, um, we, we, you need to do whatever you can to get him, or at least go in so hard that you hurt him that he knows next time he mustn't be there. That's just the reality, okay? Um, there's, there's, there's certain philosophy te te techniques which, which, are, which I won't cover in the session. Um, um, in order to, 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 move, to move him away. But uh, the main thing is, if you can't get our name, as a, as a note say there, we want to hurt him. Okay. Cool. 
there it's doing a nickel. So basically you're saying do whatever you can. It's it's not it's not something you want to promote too much because of the safety of the game. Um, but roll, roll, you obviously want to ax him, meaning tackle him away, you want to clean him, you want to get your body on top of him. But if push comes to shove, um, and that's why a lot of rugby team, they bring in wrestlers, etc., which helps them out to um, move bodies. Okay. Now I'm going to discuss the axe quickly, okay? So we just watch this quickly. Watch this clip. Just hold on. Sorry, quickly. Um, is everyone still awake? Everyone still awake? Okay. Cool. Um, we're going to print on presentation for Kenya. Oh, where did that slide go to now? Did a lot of slides, guys, huh? Um, sorry, sorry for that, guys. Okay, we go. Cool. Okay, let's watch this clip, guys. The same mindset of the X. And this is and this is the, the, the mindset, you the core. This is your 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 are you going to attack your breakdown guys? Okay, so I'll discuss this quickly. So um, we named it after that clip, actually. Okay, um, so you know, acting to be behind the to be behind the rack. Um, so think cleaning him behind the rack, um, cleaning. Um, um, the main the main mindset here is you want to you want to get on top of him, but the other main main mindset is that you want to eat the rack hard. That, so that's what because um, it's been cancelled in in, 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 in in Cape Town at the moment and um, hopefully with Curry Cup you can bring it back in because the, the breakdown of found the guys are not going in hard enough because they're not thinking X, they're not thinking tackle, they're not thinking get on top of the person. So it's a mindset we, 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 we need to change. Okay, so when you think X, think you want to tackle the the threat. You don't just want to push him away. You don't just want to occupy the space. You actually want to tackle him, and and which makes it easier because if you if if, they, if they've got two cleaner if they've got two people in there and we've got two cleaners, and we put two of them on the ground, then their tacklers out, and the two cleaners and two of and our ball carrier and our two cleaners and their two defensive guys. Then it's then and then then the scrum off is playing the ball. Um, this come is probably behind the ruck, and then the fullback is probably out. Then it becomes almost like a ten on ten game, meaning there's more space. Then all those other principles we spoke about can kick in. Those ball carries. I hope it makes sense what I said. So cleaners are in, um, defensive um, tacklers are in, ball carriers in, tacklers in, scrum offs are playing the ball or behind the ruck. Fullback is out. It, it becomes. A game that's closest closer to sevens. So yeah, I love X. <sighs> um, the main thing here, guys. Okay, which is it's it's, all, it's we 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 don't want too much parking and stacking like in that very first, like in that very 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 first um, club I showed you guys was 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 province on the on in the corners. Okay, so I'm not going to go much in there. Um, just watch some more clips. It's not too many clubs to go, guys. Do anything to get him away. That's that's basically the that's basically the the the, the point here. Um, 
Number one, you just do whatever you do. You get him out of there. Okay. Okay. Loosen awareness. Um, loosen is, 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 is basically, we, like, like I mentioned, when the um, cleaner, sorry, the, the cleaner or the, or, the, or the first cleaner or the second cleaner decides, well, I, I'm not needed here, man. Why don't I just, um, why don't I just pause the ball? Okay. The other notes here is just, again, the height, big emphasis on, on, on height in all these things. Okay. You bend your legs. Obviously, you can absorb um, counteracts, but also allows you to, to have power in your, in your, in your, in your, in your clean, etc. Okay. Um, the, people have various techniques. Um, yeah, just some, again, decision making. By the, by the second arrival, easier threat, easier no threat. Drive, drive to the, the, the ball, um, be lower than him, and again, the, um, the tackle mindset. Okay, just a few more slides, hopefully, guys, okay? Um, the next one we're doing here is, um, is, is what we call surfing. Um, so, so, so surfing is basically, um, not when you go to the beach, so so you almost like you're thinking the 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 the, the board is a um, is a ball carrier, but also another way of looking at it is that um, the ball and the surface the ball carrier and 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 the wave is going to going to going to knock you over. Okay, um, sorry about the slide. Um, the reload was recovered. Let me just see here. At the surf, bang. So it's when you when when you when you get onto the ball carrier, bang, see us in there, and there they surf him. So shucks. Sorry guys, nearly done. It's all over surf. So this here, okay. So he's a surfboard, and then what? 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 The cleaners will come to here. First price, you want to tackle Sia. That's the first thing you want to do. You want to tackle Sia. Then, if you can't tackle Sia, you tackle it. You tackle it. The the, the 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 tackler. Okay. And look, it moves your breakdown. Look how that makes sense, guys. We can chat about it now. So yeah, gold medal, tackle here. You tackle your own player. Silver medal, which is still a positive, is that you tackle the tackler. Um, bronze medal, which 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 isn't, which which is very good still, because you're on the podium, but you got your clean going. Okay. Um, Guys, right, that's it in a nutshell. Any questions? Any clarity? Any stupid stuff that I spoke about that you think um, can work or can't work? Um, Coach, just a quick question. Um, measuring the speeds of your rucks, where do you start your your your? Where do you start measuring your speed? Um, is it from once the ball carries on the ground to when it leaves the ruck? Or is it when the tackle starts, or is it when the first cleaner arrives? No, it's from when he when 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 from when he goes to the from basically when he goes to the ground. From when he gets to the ground, the same like on on defense. If 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 you say I tackle you, um, to see how far fast I get to the ground from the moment I've, I've I'm, I'm on the ground. Any questions, guys? All good. Just one last comment on that. This, this isn't. This is just an option. Okay. Um, if if you if you're gonna watch any international team, any European team, any Super Rugby team, they'll have similar similar philosophies, and some will have different. Okay. It's up to you to choose what 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 works for you. The reason I go with this one is because. Um, 
if you play the evasion game, you want to get behind them, and you want to you want to get you want to get speed on numbers. Um, you find teams that play kicking game; they're not always too keen for this because um, the players are not constantly stable. Okay, all good. Yeah, uh, let me. Um, I have a question, yeah, coach. Sure. Yeah, sure. yeah, ask guys. Uh, yeah, go Dominic, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dominic. Oh, okay. Yeah, cheers. Um, uh, Coach Labib, um, about the um, the the arcs, yeah. Um, yeah. The the if if you look at the number of penalties from 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 that, yeah. Um, I think I think most of the penalties come from when you latch uh, when you ax on the from the outside, right? From the from the open side. As opposed to if you if you ask from the inside. No, you you know with um ax axing isn't technically legal anymore. The, yeah. the, just understand, yeah. Um, in terms of, those, I'll have to find a clip. I'm gonna look for now. So so what we used to do, man. Um, We used to, even if you're on your way to the ruck, so you're not even by the ruck yet, so you're even a meter behind the ruck, right? Yes. We used to go fetch you there, right? So Before, just picture yes. the following. Yeah, but you're not even at the ruck yet, but 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 you're moving towards it. Then we 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 would we would tell our players go tackle him now. Now you fall further behind the advantage line. Now the folders must work more. So 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 that was that was that was that was a big complaint. So what I'm saying, have the X mindset. At the rack, okay. Get uh, this is this is because what what players do the, they come to the rack and they stay there, right? Mm -hmm. Defenses, I can't get to the ball and they get out. So now I've got more people at the breakdown than defense. So defense is always going to win that, right? So I'm saying F X mindset. So now they at the rack. They they out to steal it. They there and they're not away from it. They at the rack. Now I tackle him. Because I'm cleaning him, and I get on and I, and I get on him. That that's that's what I mean with with the X I explained now. I didn't explain the the, the X when is um when he's still on his way, which is why we got into trouble. The teams were complaining Excellent. because our players would would go f over the ruck, our feet over the ruck, and whoever there we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take you out because now we make that ruck instead of being so small, we make it bigger for you. And you must, your folders must fold around. And now our tech is just going. And we do it at every rack. So a defense can't sit. Defense can't sit. Mm. But... Um, it's at the contact the, point. The, 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 the... I beg your pardon? So, so the, so the, we, the we move. is at the contact point. Sorry, you broke up, Papa? The, the axe is at the contact point, not not uh, after after the guy has gone to ground, after the ball carrier has gone to ground. So when he's still up and still yeah, drive... Yeah. No, 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 no. That, 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 that is a surf. That is a surf. That's oh, a surf you're talking about. The, the, the X is when the ball carrier went to ground. Right? Already. Yes. It's now it's gone to ground. Now it's now it's placing the ball. Mm -hmm. Now you coming to steal the ball, right? Oh, so, so you, you about to ask the cleaner and you ask the jackler. Um, I, I, I ask the jackler, but we used to ask the jackler, no matter where the jackler was, whether the jackler was a, still walking there. Um, Cleaning his hair, um, walking to the rack, we would ask you, which which we got into into into, into you trouble like for. If you, if you, before it used to be, if you look like you you have this, the jersey of the other guys, you just tackle the guy. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's that, illegal. That it, but but we, yeah, no no it's no no it, it's illegal. But I'm saying you 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 ask mindset on the on on the on the ball sealer or the or the um or the or the, or the jackler. It it's something that I spoke to um our super rugby John Dobson, I spoke to him yesterday about it. Because I I feel our players are coming there, but they're just coming there to be there. Mm. Some of them come there good like like Peter Steph, if you watch how he plays, he doesn't clean the rucks. But yeah. what he does very good, he yeah. closes a space no, no, he closes the space, and and he's clever because he says, he says, yo, you know all the energy I waste to clean the racks. So guys, let me work. I rather work harder to get there, and I clean the space. They're not axing. 
then I don't have to clean a ruck. Or I can play the ball. So that's why he, that's why his game is effective where that is concerned because he works bloody hard to get there because he knows he's busy saving energy. But when, there's, when the when the when the tackle has been made or there's there's people, then you have to clean. So then I'm saying get to that ruck and X physically with all that principle, the leg the blah blah blah, tits underneath, etc. But with such aggression. And like you're tackling him because I'm just going while he's here to clean him, to, to push him away or to occupy space. It's a different mindset from when I get there and I'm going to play tackle this guy now and I'm going to put him on the ground. So if I measure, did you, did you put effort to put him on the ground? No, you didn't. That's why he maybe stole the ball or he delayed the mm -hmm. ball. But if I come there hard and, 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 and we, what Rassi does a lot, he puts, um, when you're that, that province, Stormers, he, he, he puts a cone here, not a cone, a, a tackling bag, he puts another one here. Oh, she was, can I explain? Okay, here we go. Um, can you guys see that? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's a lion there. So, can you guys see me still? Yes. Uh, okay, no, sorry, there's something. Uh, somebody has shared his screen. The, Somebody share the screen. Or is time yeah. up? Hello. Can you guys see me? Yes. Yeah, um, I'm going to share the screen, yeah. Both, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, yes, there, we, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay. So this is, this is a... a, a Sorry, man. Okay, make this. So it's a tackling bag on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, and and this, this is another tackling bag in a T formation. They call it a T bag drill, okay? So pretend that's a, that's a, this one here, okay? So that's a one on, on the ground and that's a T one, okay? Then someone sits on the T bag. So that's very low. So now what Rassi does, he still do it to the spring box. You must come to this, to this, to this, to this um, tackling bag and you must run as hard as you can to tackle it. If your body position is like this, you won't move it. You must tackle it so hard and you must test it and you generate your feet and not lift it up. The force must be so hard that the bag goes up and, and, and that promotes low cleaning and, um, and aggressiveness. We've got a few minutes left, guys. Um, Teddy, you had a question, sir. I had the same question on uh, threat management and acts. And uh, you've, you've, you've uh, answered all the questions um, on space management, but my, what I would actually add on is when uh, you try to peel off the feet of the jackler to put him on the ground. Like for the example, you showed New Zealand and uh, Ireland, where you do everything necessary to, to get him off. I would see some yeah. teams actually going to, to, to get him off his feet so that he cannot legally contest for the ball. So that's it. Yeah. Look, um, I don't think there's many teams that are 100% ever since rugby started, ever long ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, break, breakdown breakdown has, be, it's, has always been a contentious issue, and there's always ways that people are looking to manipulate it, and it'll be interesting to see. To see what happens, but but for me, for me that that, that I've um, over time worked a lot in terms of um, the important thing for me is what you do before the contact because that that has a major effect on on when the ball is on the ground. Okay, guys, um, to, just quickly, well, I've got a few minutes. Um, I'll I'll just chat to you quickly. Where are you from, Felix? What what team are you from? Felix Aid. Yeah, Felix from. Sorry, man. Um, you, I, I, um, you went silent there for a minute. I would. What club you from? I'm just trying to get a feel. From South Coast Pirates. Ah, South Coast Pirates. Alex. Yes. Pleased to meet you. Alex, where are you from? From Homboys, Homboys. Oh, 
musicians. Abana, where are you? Dominic, where are you from? Halukun, Halukun. Easy game, easy game. Okay, guys. If there's no other questions, um, you 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 can get you can get my um, number from um from the union, or if you want to send me a message, or if you want to send me a, a clip at some point and you and discuss things, and then um during this time period we we've got time and um we can debate whatever. Okay, but good luck and Kenya Tuko. And Santi cool. Santi Labib. Yes, thank, thank you. you Labib. Cheers, Labib. Cheers, Labib. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Labib. All right. All right. Guys, you can leave a tweet and just say a quick thank you for showing up once again. Labib, we do this every Friday. So I'll send you the link for the other things, uh, for the other meetings, and uh, you can join me. Feel free. Thank you okay. so much. That will be nice. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Cheers, bye bye. Likewise. All right, guys. So, guys, next week, same time, eh? <laughs> so, TC. TC is on, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. What's up? <laughs> next week, we are with you, TC. What's in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's so, tell you if you need anything from us. Oh, definitely. definitely. No, so. Okay, guys. Okay. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, th th thank you also, um, Malik. Thanks also to you. Yes. So, and to you and Kwambo, we are really looking for guys to come Kwambo is quiet. Kwambo is quiet. Really. Presentation. Somewhere. Hey, hey, this hey, <laughs> yeah. This is very good. Kwambo is there. Oh, he's there. Right. Good stuff, my guy. Yeah, this is very good. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers, guys. Okay. Cheers, Malik. Asante, Felix, for joining. Sorry, talk as Yeah, yeah. Just leave that way. Up to you. Okay, cheers. See